down and get up, guys. I'm your friendly neighborhood host, Chris Killian, and apologies for my absence yesterday. Was I under the weather, or did I take off an entire day to play Mass Effect? I don't know. What do you think, Mr. TV? <laughs> You'll stop talking now. Pirates of the Caribbean fans, I've got good news. The latest film, Dead Men Tell No Tales, screened last night at CinemaCon, and the reactions have been surprisingly very positive, with everybody praising the visual effects and many claiming this sequel is the best Pirates movie since the original. If you're still concerned about how good the film will be, just do what I do every time a new Pirates movie comes out. Sneak in a bottle of rum. <laughs> or six, in a comicbook.com exclusive, Deadpool 2 director David Leach confirmed at CinemaCon to us that Brad Pitt is no longer in the running for cable. He said, and I quote, we had a great meeting with Brad. He was incredibly interested in the property. Things didn't work out schedule wise. That is too bad. Brad Pitt as cable would have been so cool. He probably could have won Angelina back. In another comicbook.com exclusive, Vin Diesel revealed to our own Brandon Davis that the fate of the furious is the start of an all new trilogy. Yes, because if there's one thing we want more of, it's Fast and the Furious sequels. That's part one of this news. Part two, we also have an exclusive first image of the next movie, and you can check it out now. <laughs> They're old. Finally, yesterday, we all got to see the first trailer for Stephen King's It, and if you aren't excited, then WTF is wrong with you, person who clearly hates horror movies. Even just comparing the original boat scene with Georgie to this remake should show you how much care has went into this project. What I find most fascinating about this, though, is that the movie showcases what we're all afraid of. Clowns and gingers. I can make that joke because I'm one of them. That's the get up for today. Hit me up on Twitter at Chris Killing and thanks again for the well wishes yesterday. And for all the latest news coming out of WonderCon, you guys stay tuned to comicbook.com. Mm -hmm.